Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rachak Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the others of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. That is also likewise continually feeding the flock of the Lord's pasture. And also as well, uh, much due honors and uh, Shalom to the whole elect that is also laboring his work as well. Continuing to labor and to plow in his work and spread this gospel to the, member, the other members of the whole elect in our faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity. Now, um, you know, the topic of this video is uh, going to be centered around, you know, today, which is uh, November 26th, in which, you know, today is uh, known as Thanksgiving. And, you know, you got our people, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which, which make up the nation of Israel, you know, uh, you know, firing up their, uh, their cookers and, you know, cooking up turkey and food and stuff like that. And they don't realize the, the true origins behind this specific holiday or what we like to call hell day. Okay. Really, man, the, the ignorance of this people that's living here in America, you know, it knows no bounds. You know, they, they don't look into the, uh, the origin of things, you know, and that's something that, um, that we touch up on here in Great Millstone, us Israelites, you know, we, encourage you know our people to look into the origins of things you know to, to look into the source of why you have certain days like these you know why the um you know the calendar the way that it is you know and other things of that nature okay because when you go into uh, the origin of these different days that these people hold in high regard such as thanksgiving you find you find a more sinister origin behind these days okay specifically today man because today commemorates the slaughter of the northern trials of the nation of Israel which are you Gadites you Reubenites which are um, you know the different so called Native American Indian tribes and the crazy thing about that is well you, you have you even have so called Native American Indians that celebrate this day See, that's how That's how far gone our people are That's how deceived You know, that's the level of the deception That the so-called white man has placed On our people You know, specifically uh, the northern tribes The, the Gadites You know, so-called Native American Indians <clears throat> Because even I mean, I wouldn't even put it past them If we were to show this information Towards them they still celebrate days like this. And that's why the Most High, which is true name in ancient Hebrews, Yahweh, and also likewise his son. His true name in ancient Hebrews, Yahweh Shai. All right? So the Most High, through his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to open up judgment towards two thirds of our people. And you Northern trials are going to be the bulk of that. Okay? so-called Native American Indians that that get into days like this and not just them, also you so-called Latino tribes, you so-called Negro tribes you know, the Southern Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom the two-thirds out of that they're going to face the judgment of, of the Most High for commemorating or for celebrating these, these types of days okay, really they're celebrating the destruction of their own people okay they're celebrating the bloodshed and the mass genocide that took place when the so-called white man discovered the so-called new world. All right. And the crazy, the other, another the crazy thing is that this world was already inhabited or this side of the world. Okay. But they deemed it the new world. All right. Because they said that they discovered it and they deem the people that were already here as savages. That's why they've been given the name of Indians, in which the, the, the word Indian means savage. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'll jump into some information that I got here. This is from... Um, so this is an article that I pulled up. This is the 1637 uh, Picot 
I believe that's how you pronounce it, massacre, the real story of the annual U.S. Thanksgiving, okay? And of course, here's a picture of, of a so-called Native American Indian slave, okay? That's pursuant to uh, Jeremiah, uh, I believe it's uh, the 30, uh, 50, it's like the 50th chapter in the um, 30th verse or the 33rd verse where it says uh, Judah and Israel were oppressed together. Okay, and this is a prime example of Judah and Israel being oppressed together because this was uh, close to the same time to where uh, actually let me see a date yeah 1637 so that was around the time to where we we arrived the southern kingdoms or the southern kingdom arrived the so-called Negroes arrived here as slaves okay so not only the so-called Negroes went into captivity also the so-called Native American Indians went into captivity and the so-called Latino tribes went into captivity Okay, so us as a nation went into captivity as a whole. All right, which fulfilled Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Okay, also, likewise, like I mentioned earlier, Jeremiah uh, chapter 50, verse 33. Okay, um, I'm gonna skip down a little bit, I just want to pick out a few paragraphs. So, I'm gonna read this one here. This is in, uh, in 1637, near present day uh, Groton, Connecticut. Over 700 men, women, and children of the Peacoat tribe had gathered for their annual Green Corn Festival, which is our Thanksgiving celebration. All right. So keep that in mind. In the uh, pre-dawn hours, the sleeping Indians were surrounded by English and Dutch mercenaries who ordered them to come outside. So the English and the Dutch, those were Edomites. Okay. Those are the ancestors of the Edomites that are living here today. And guess what? They're still benefiting off of events like this. Okay. So it's a crime to even call yourself an American. Why? Because this land, this land does not belong to these Edomites. Okay. So here it says, uh, who ordered missionaries who ordered them outside to come outside. Those who came out were shot or clubbed to death while the terrified women and children who huddled inside the longhouse were burned alive. The next day, the governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony declared a day of Thanksgiving. So here it is. They were about to celebrate a uh, so-called Native American Indian tribe was about to celebrate, you know, uh, a, a green corn festival. And this man, the so-called white man, committed genocide against against this tribe of, of the native so-called native american indians and they deem this day as thanksgiving okay now read us because 700 unarmed men women and children have been murdered so they so due to this they call it thanksgiving all right that shows you the level of pride of these edomites and that's why the lord is not going to spare these edomites in the day of judgment man okay Okay, it says, cheered by their victory, the brave colonists and their Indian allies attacked village after village. Women and children over 14 were sold into slavery while the rest were murdered. See that? Boats loaded with as many as 500 slaves regularly left the ports of New England. Bounties were, were uh, paid for Indian scalps to encourage as many deaths as possible. Wow, man. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep reading because it gets <laughs> it, it gets even more hell bent. Okay. Following an, an especially uh, successful raid against the Pico in what is now Stanford, Connecticut. The churches announced a second day of Thanksgiving to celebrate victory over the heathen savages. See, and that's why they, they and they call them savages. All right. Meanwhile, here it is. The, uh, the so-called Native American Indian tribes didn't do anything to these Edomites. All right. Case in point, uh, Christopher Columbus. Him and his, his uh, crew of barbarians was nearly dead. And then the so-called Native American Indians, they, they, they nursed them back to health, him and his men. And what did they get in return? Death, destruction, murder, rape, and rape and robbery. 
okay? It says, during, uh, during the feasting, they, uh, yeah, during the feasting, that the head of heads of natives were kicked through the streets like soccer balls. Man, if you're not mad by now, man, something's wrong with you. Okay, so they cut, they hacked off the heads of the so-called Native American Indians and they kicked them around like soccer balls, man. You see how you see how this man's a devil, man. And now and, and people call us crazy when we say this man's the devil. Now reading on it says even the friendlier uh uh Wapanog did not escape the madness. Their chief was beheaded in his head impaled on a pole in Plymouth Massachusetts where it remained on display for 24 years so for 24 years the head was just sitting there on a pole for 24 years deteriorating alright alright and reading on I'm going to read this last paragraph it says the killings became more and more frenzied with days of Thanksgiving feasts being held after each successful massacre so, and today doesn't make it any more different than what happened back then, man. You know, the, the so-called white man, you know, what he's doing now is still celebrating that same holiday of commemorating the slaughter and massacre of the so-called Native American Indians. Okay? We know that George Washington finally suggested, and that's the first president that was set up, right? And they give honors Onto these uh, the so-called founding fathers, okay? When they didn't find a damn thing. So George Washington finally suggested that only one day of Thanksgiving per year be set aside and still uh, celebrate each and every massacre. Okay, so that's why it's a yearly thing now. Okay. against the starving uh, uh, Sioux or Sox in uh, Minnesota, okay? So you Southern tribes that give honors to Abraham Lincoln, this is the same man that did this, okay? It's the same devil, man. But I'm going to go ahead and jump, uh, hop into the precepts I have here. So uh, Jeremiah chapter 49, is at verse uh, 12 it says for thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashmiel Shai behold they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished so them who were, were not meant to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken and they think that they're going to go unpunished the so called white man thinks he's going to ride off into the sunset and believes that he's not going to pay for these things that he had done and the Lord is asking them, so you all together go on punish? And the answer to that is no. Okay, and it's going to tell you further in the scripture. This is, uh, thou shalt not go on punish, but thou shalt surely drink of it. And what was that drink that Esau, or Edom, which is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, gave to the so-called Native American Indians and the so-called Latino tribes and the so-called Negroes? Okay, he gave us death, destruction, all right, affliction, Captivity, distress, anguish, and nothing but evils. So that cup that the so-called white man's given us, guess what? He's gonna drink that same cup. Okay. Verse 13 says, For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashimel Shai, that Basra, which is the capital city of Edom, shall become a desolation. And America's no different. Okay? Boswell being the capital city, America is the capital city. Okay, it's the that's deemed in the scriptures as the golden city, which is Babylon the Great. So Boswell, which represents this place, Babylon the Great or America, shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. See that? Now I'll move on from there. I'm gonna grab another piece up.
right? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 51. And um, this is at verse 21. It says, Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith thy Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. Verse 23. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. And who is the one who afflicted us? Edom, which is the main one, okay? Ham, which is so-called Africans. All right, you Ammonites, you Moabites, you so-called Japanese, Chinese. They forwarded the affliction, okay? So-called so uh, Arabs, the Ishmaelites. And you, especially you so-called you so East Indians, man. You dirty Elamites. It says here, But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And they literally did that. Okay? They had slaves go over, and, and there was ever a place they needed to step over. They had this, uh, the, a slave go over and uh, bow themselves down so they can step over. Man. Okay? That we may go over and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. Okay? I want to grab a couple more precepts and I want to close it out. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay? So this man has sown destruction and chaos and affliction towards the children of Israel. And guess what? He's going to reap those same things which he has sown. Okay? Because the scriptures say right here that the Most High is not mocked. Okay? So the Most High is going to make sure that this man pays for every single thing that he did towards the nation of Israel, okay? And it's gonna start with the super rich of these Edomites, okay? The man is in the distance. All right, I'm gonna grab this one last piece up. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 15 it says that which have been is now and that which is to be hath already been and the most high requires that which is past okay so the most high requires the past okay which is what the so called white man has done unto the nation of Israel where these Edomites have done to the nation of Israel okay All right, I'm gonna grab his last priest up, close it on out. It's Amos chapter 5, verse 21. Okay. And today, this is being uh this this today is it's regarded as a feast day. Okay. And yeah, these people are feasting today, man. Alright. They you know they they load themselves up with, with copious amounts of food. Alright. And um, you know, gluttony is at an all-time high. Okay, so don't be surprised if somebody drops dead tonight or tomorrow because of what happened today. All right, Amos chapter five verse twenty one. I hate this is the Most High speaking. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Okay, so today is regarded as a solemn assembly to them. This is this is uh, you know the word solemn means serious. So that's why people were damn near losing it when they heard that you know thanksgiving in certain areas you know thanksgiving we you know they kind of uh i believe in chicago you know they counsel it to where you know people can't be gathering having big gatherings 
in their houses, okay? And, you know, and there's no telling how, what, how it's going to be afterwards, man, you know? After today, you're going to start to see more and more uh, draconian measures taken after today, okay? But the Lord hates the feast days that these people have, man, especially today being Thanksgiving, okay? Or should I say thanks stealing? We know it says, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Okay, so the Lord is not smelling the solemn assembly. He just does not regard it. And the prayers that these people are sending up, these, these Bible thumpers, these uh, so-called Christians that say they believe in the Bible, you know, sending, trying to, uh, sending up prayers, and, you know, saying, giving thanks for such and such. The Most High is not hearing that, man. All right? And really, they putting curses on themselves by doing that. Okay? Slowly but surely, man, these people, uh, our people, should I say, are taking on the image of being an Edomite. All right? And you already know what's in store for Edomites. Slavery and destruction. All right? But when, in regards to our people, two-thirds of our people, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end off on that note. And our Lord's widows edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Again, I want to give all praise on it and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles. Any others of great millstone that root well to this very day. Shalom, peace and safety. Salutations to the whole elect that's uh, continually um, pushing forth this word, continuing to uh, minister in this truth, continuing to spread this gospel to other members of the whole elect in faith, in truth, and sincerity, in all charity. And with that, I say shalom.